What is up guys, Suspense here, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, if you have any suggestions for any content you'd like to see on this channel, whether that be a shoe you want me to review, a completely different series, or a completely different type of video, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best to integrate that into this channel. Today I'll be doing an in-depth review and giving my thoughts on the Air Jordan 1 High, Am Amanier, Airness. Kinda glad that the trade fell through on this, through Trade Block, just so I can get them back and do my own little review on them. I wanted to do it before, but I needed to ship them out, so I never got around to it, but without any more delay, let's hop into the top down cam starting off with the box we do have a see-through plastic shroud with amamanure branding printed all over removing that plastic shroud reveals the jordan one styled box with amamanure branding and nike branding in purple While the rest is off white we do have amamanure and wings logo branding here the amamanure a logo on the back as well as the front and while we're on the front here is the size tag for all your legit checking needs i did hit this pair off of the second amamanure release something to note for legit checking is this suggested retail tab is $200 instead of $170. Inside the box, very sick design. We have the Jumpman on the lid and it does have a little date code stamp there under the net of the hoop. And there is also a small swoosh here stamped onto the lid as well in red ink. I've had several retail pairs of this shoe and every date code stamp has looked different. I've asked my friends to send me pictures of what their date code stamp looked like and all of them look different. Some of them are very legible. Some of them are very blurry like this. Some of them are purple ink. Some of them are red ink and this one has a swoosh this is the only one i've seen with a swoosh out of all of them so nothing i would consider for different looking stamps though it should definitely have one inside the box we do have amamanier all over branding paper as well similar to the plastic shroud and a ycm sticker here are the shoes as far as colors and materials go the upper is made up of a white cracking leather that varies in roughness i'll point that out more in detail as we go on the only other material is this burgundy snakeskin that makes up the swoosh and the collar area here the the midsoles are a nice off-white sail with a little bit of a peachiness hint to them and the outsoles are a beautiful burgundy. Here is the medial side. This is where we're gonna get our first look at the variants in the cracking. Notice up here how this cracked leather is a lot smoother than even this side panel here. Look how much more rough the tongue is. The heel is very rough too. So you do have a large variance in roughness. Though in general, I have seen that the heels and tongues have been the roughest parts throughout. And also we get our first look at these flaps here. Now on most Jordan 1, they are stitched down with this stitch right here and it gives it this sort of look. But obviously that stitch is not there and it leaves the flaps exposed. Similar to a dunk high and we also get a closer look at that burgundy snakeskin swoosh that i mentioned before and though i don't use it in legit checking you can take a look at this corner stitch area as well here is the lateral side we can take a look at the glossy burgundy wings logo here it's a very dark burgundy and behind the flaps on the lateral sides are two michael jordan quotes this one on the right shoe says learning is a gift even when pain is your teacher with the little signature there and while this one is tucked behind the extra laces it says you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them with that same signature as well and the inside medial flaps are both blank now as far as laces go you do have this very lightly waxed burgundy color flat cotton lace you can get a better look at them right here they do have metal aglets with very very tiny silver amamanier branding on them and that is also true of the extra set of laces you get here in a nice cream color they also have silver aglets with that same branding as well on the tongue i would never have noticed this if it was wasn't for Batch Floss, aka Chris's review on this shoe. I don't know if it was one that he did on his retail channel or when he was covering a replica pair, but where the holes are cut in the tongue for the laces to go through, every other Jordan 1 that I know of, they're cut all the way through to the back of the tongue. This one is only the surface level, and the back of the tongue is actually not cut at all. You can see that white mesh behind it. It does not go through to the back of the tongue. Something maybe to keep in mind for legit checking, but it's also just a really cool little detail. The tongue tags have a black on white. I'm Amanier branding on the bottom with a burgundy on black Nike Air logo above. The fidelity is very good, but the top right registered trademark logo next to the E and Nike does have a flat bottom. So maybe I would not take that into consideration for legit checking. And here are the back tabs. You can take note of the width of this snakeskin back tab. And also note that there is no big loop before the material comes back down underneath this white panel here. It is nice and on top of the white material. So you can reference that for all your legit checking needs. Also note that Jordan 1 Pro file here on the back. We start here at the bottom and it curves up ever so slightly. Some replicas just shoot straight up and that is not the case. And even though I don't use this for legit checking, here is the hourglass shape that you can expect to see on a never tried on DS pair. Moving inside, we actually are going to start with this quilted satin sock liner, which is beautiful. It is actually very soft. Love the way that feels. And unlike the Amamanier 
Jordan 3, the back of the tongue does not have that quilted pattern at all, while the rest of the sock liner does. And the only reason why I point that out is because the Amal Meniere 3 here has that quilted pattern on the back of the tongue as well as the sock liner. So just something to take note of. I don't expect any replicas to have that quilted, but just a little detail to notice. And moving further inside, we do have a cardboard shoe tree with the proper sizing up front and die cut sock liner in the bottom. I also took this off and forgot to mention it. We have a Ama Meniere and Wings logo branded hang tag finished in this burgundy leather. It is very nice, very pliable. And most of them I've seen actually have very rough stitching on the Wings logo side here in the bottom right corner. So that would not be good to reference for legit checking, but it is very nice. Burgundy is just an awesome color. And here is the insole. We do have a blue Ortholite insole with a parallel glue pattern that goes three quarters of the way up. You'll see this stitching in a rectangle pattern because the top is finished in a burgundy satin with Airness by Ama Meniere for Air Jordan with the Wings logo actually stitched on to the insole, which is a very cool detail. Things like this that are just extra for the sake of being extra, I love. So this is a super sick detail. And we do have a standard Jordan 1 strobel with two visible guide holes and a good amount of white stitching. And here is the inside size tag for all your legit checking needs. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with a UV light so you know what to expect to see on a retail pair. Something that instantly stands out is that the outsoles actually turn to like a green color, which is very unique on this pair. Not really even see any glue on the join. So you should be expecting to see a greenish outsole under UV light and maybe a little bit of glue, but I think I got lucky on my pair. Look out for that under UV light. Thank you guys so much for watching my review on the Amamanier Jordan 1 Airness. If you like this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, maybe check out a video that YouTube recommends you here. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.